the reason why they skipped he left the king is because prior to Noah there was Matthew Selah in between Noah and Lamech. So Matthew Selah lived and uplifted his sons and uplifted his great children. He lived for 969 years. The man who lived longer than any other man under the sun. So all other people they were skipped by the altar of Melchizedek. Then now Noah came into the picture and became now the altar of Melchizedek. And when Noah became the author of Melchizedek, you understand that the book of 2 Peter, subsection 2, verse 5, chapter 2, verse 5, the Bible says that then Noah became the end preacher of righteousness among all the people that were on earth. Noah started to preach righteousness. So he's preaching now the coming of righteousness as one man who under the altar of Melchizedek. Come on, someone shout the altar of Melchizedek. Oh, I don't tell you, come on, shout the altar of Melchizedek. Oh, Say to your neighbor, I sense an altar of Melchizedek upon your life. Oh, there is fire around you. Fire around you. So the Bible calls Noah the eighth preacher of righteousness. Second Peter chapter 2, subsection 5. The Bible says, and he spared not the ancient world, but preserved no one the preacher of righteousness with seven other persons when he brought the flood upon the world of ungodly people. So Peter is talking about God who spared Noah and the other seven. The reason why the Bible now is, is referring to them as the other is because they were not of the order of Melchizedek. So when Noah died, the order was inherited by by, 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 by his son Shem. Shem became that order of Melchizedek. So after Shem, the Bible says Shem beget Absent. Absent beget Shela. Shela beget Eber. All these people they are coming under the order of Melchizedek. And Eber begets Reu. Reu begets Serug. Serug beget now. Now beget Terah. Terah beget Abraham and his brothers. So all these people that I've mentioned, I'm not going to explain because of our time, they became an order of Melchizedek. So if you are putting North down, know that from Shem there was Mavshad, from Mavshad there was Shela, from Shela there was Eber, from Eber there was Reu, from Reu there was Pelek. The Bible says, in the days of Pelek, the earth divided. So you find out that the earth was one land mass. But in the time of Pelek, in his priesthood and in his order, something happened that broke the earth into different masses of land. So from Pelek, they came now, now, who was the great father of Abraham. From now, they came Terah, from Terah, Abraham. And the Bible now, in the book of Genesis chapter 14, where we have read, the Bible speaking now of Abraham being the friend of God. And after he became the friend of God, God said unto Abraham, I want you to go to a place that I'm going to show you. And in that place, I am going to make you. So the place where Abraham was going to go, it was a place of making. The Bible says he arrived in Mamre. When he arrived in Mamre, he pitched his tent in Mamre. He stayed in Mamre. This particular time, the Levitical and the Aaronic priesthood is not yet institutionalized, which means Abraham becomes his own priest. He becomes his own prophet. He becomes his own prince. He becomes his own king. And the Bible says one particular day, Abraham was sitting under the box of Mori. While he was sitting, in, the, in verse 17, in Sodom and Gomorrah, he had a nephew that was staying there. It was a place of people, negative decadence. The Bible says the five kings of the south of the uh, Dead Sea, which was the Dead Sea of Salt, that's where these five kings were, including the kingdom of Sodom and Gomorrah, where Lord was staying. The Bible says there were kings that were coming from the east. So that particular time, in every corner of the earth, there was a king who had a reputation. 
So in the southern side, there were kings that were there, five kings that had met and aligned. Then on the eastern side, there were other kings. One of the kings is the king that sister Phil failed to pronounce. And I'm not going to try to pronounce the name because...